Welcome back, and today we're going to be watching another episode of MILF Manor. If you haven't watched MILF Manor, it's basically where a bunch of mums and their sons live in a villa in Mexico, and they date each other. And I bloody love it. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Bush! Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while, I've missed this. Oh, random stock music. Oh yeah. Sexy mommies, sexy babies. <laughs> and I just love looking at the ladies' bodies and I'm just getting to know them. Yeah, way. It's only been one day, man, you pervert. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. My mom does get a lot of attention from here. Uh, Joey, man. <laughs> be mainly because she never wears bras. Stop it. Get some help. Girls are always popping out, you know, the headlights are always on. <laughs> what is going on? It didn't bother you when you were a baby sucking on a meter, so let's keep it real. <laughs> Cause I needed the milk, mom. Oh, You were really thirsty. Oh, no, oh, that's how we're starting, is it? Yeah! Joe, this is milkish. Joe, this is milkish push. Cause I needed the milk, mom. I needed some energy. You were really thirsty. Paula. Yes? I'm taking your son out on a date. I don't like to say what I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's like when somebody says, I am not racist, but <laughs> just say what you're going to say. And the people can take it however they way they want it. I think Ryan is the most like sexual, like would be like know what to do. Do you just know that by looking at somebody? Yeah. He just looks like he could smash my back doors in so well. <laughs> Nobody can keep up with me, really. You're in stuff. Please let me out, please, please. Yeah. If you don't have that standard, how are you going to have what you want? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I'm having this awkward debate with my son. Smile for the camera. Love Jose. He's very intriguing. He definitely gives me the impression that he knows what to do with a woman in the bedroom. Oh my God, you said that about Ryan. I think Ryan is the most sexual, like know what to do. We got a text that we need to write down some of our deepest, darkest secrets. Why is Joey so excited about this? We're going to be revealing these to the entire house. There's just some stuff you just don't want to know about your mama and what you don't want to know about your son. There's just some things you just, there needs to be that line sometimes, you know? And not only that, but the secret that we're sharing. He's like a Labrador, bless him. I just want to like take him home and just like stroke him and tell him like, you know, not like that guys, not like that. Get out of your mind guys. I didn't mean it like that. Maybe I did. <laughs> oh, here I am at the wall of secrets. This one is just horrendous. <laughs> oh, wrong. You just don't want that one. That's just not the one, is it? Possibly Gabriel has had a seven woman orgy. <laughs> My kid looks like he you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Things about my sex life? No. Yeah, I can I, do I without the I don't, details. I don't, I don't share that I, with I him. Do. That's very normal. Congratulations, guys. That's pretty functional. <laughs> I got pink eye from ass. What? How do you do that? You. That actually sounds quite challenging. We got a f***ed up group of people here. Yeah, you do. I started dating a couple of women, but they were both just a hit and quit. I never called them again. That's what's it. He's such a good boy. That's such a good boy. I got there, you know? Hit and quit. <laughs> I think that might be my mom. She's kind of kinky like that. Did you say my mom's kinky? I don't want to know whether your mom's I had a seven woman orgy. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't know what to do with seven women. Seven women? Seven women is so many. I feel like two's enough. I would get overwhelmed with two. I'd be like, Jesus Christ, that's... Oh, I'm sure shut up now. <laughs> I'd get overwhelmed, let's put it that way. I feel very nervous revealing my secret. Really? Who would have thunk it? It's not like millions of people are watching it. <laughs> I had a seven woman orgy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Like I would tell you guys that. Smart. I win. Yeah. You still find out in the end though. So have you really won? So we stumped each other. But. Cause we always win. Mm, stop that you bastard. Now we got to tell each other our secrets. No, 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 no. Gross. Why would you want to know? So like we kissed for a second, I stopped. And then he was like, Why'd you stop? <laughs> and he loved it. And then ever he since then, I think that's how he kind of realized maybe he like, likes everyone. So he, yeah. Oh my God, get your head out of your own ass. I am so hot that I turned a guy gay. My lips can like basically make everyone attracted to me because I'm so hot. You made them realize their sexuality and like pretty much give credit to yourself in that. Like that's a hell of an egotistical transition. Preach to the choir, baby. <laughs> He has a, a pretty healthy ego. <laughs> a pretty healthy ego he's got there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I've had sex in public on the beach. Yeah. Ah. Dirty bastard. I guess for Harrison, I grinded on a grandma and she liked it. At least we know his target audience. Horny divorcees. I had sex in a mall elevator after watching a late night movie. Oh, <laughs> oh Jeremy, bless him. Oh, he's such a cutie. I've had sex in public on the beach. No. Really? No. Why did he look so inquisitive there? Really? Tell us more. He's dated a couple of women that he just hit it and quit it and never called them again. Yeah. No, nope. I was involved with seven women. What? He's telling me. Now the other guy's got an ego. Yeah, there's you saying, I'm so hot that all the ladies just come flocking. I think it's one of those things that's nice in practice, but maybe not in theory. What did you say? What did you say? Pre your dad. Guy was dating, went to the movies, and had a nice time at the elevator. That was quick. It depends how far up they were going. They're going to like 13 floors, and it's like, you know, you got a good decent amount of time. But if it's like one floor, then that's f***ing fast, isn't it? That's just like, wee, 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 wee. done. I got pink guy from ass. <laughs> yeah! Of course it's Jimmy. Earlier episode, he was talking about how much he wanted to tongue Paula's toes. Can I get an instant replay, please? I'm a very big feet person. Paula has these feet that I just want to like. Jimmy, 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 stop, 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 Jimmy, Jimmy. Oil up and lather and just massage and get real. Wow. <laughs> wow. Suck the acrylic off them toes. And shove them my mouth. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. <laughs> it's a normal thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> Not the pink eye part. <laughs> that just happens. Cause when you're going up and down, up and down, what? back and forth. I think you're freaky and I like you a lot. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, my secret is I slept with your best friend. No, 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 no. That's oh my god. That is not what you wanna hear. Jimmy man. Jimmy Trimtron. That's something you tell him in private. Not in front of millions of people. This is something I never saw coming. Um I did not expect this at all. Oh mate. Oh, that's actually soul crushing. Love you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you over here smash him up. That's the best porno, but the worst if it happens to you. <laughs> that is so rough, man. Oh, I still can't get over that. That is so bad. Are we done? <laughs> Are we done? By way of us winning and how we won, I'm horrified. You know what? I appreciate the self awareness. Not what I thought it would be like at all. Oh, Jimmy, mate. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. My mom. She really dropped one on me that. She dropped one on your friend as well. I'm a bad person! <laughs> I feel like she should have took that to her grave or something. Like <laughs> I hope nobody really talks about it. I would feel that that would forever damage your relationship. It's like, I can't bring any of my friends to the house because you're just gonna <laughs> smash it. You're in your own reality and I'm in mine. I think someone marked me a little bit drunk. Is my boy naked? My boy's naked. My boy's dingle dongles out. It's not too far. You haven't seen too far. You don't live in my world. You don't live in my world. My world is where my mom did. I respect you. <laughs> I didn't expect this at all. You are so un emotionally unaware. Why did you? What? What crossed your mind to think that I was ever gonna be a good idea? But I'm a human. I'm a woman too. I got needs. <laughs> I know you're from Mexico, so okay. I planned like a little date for us. I know you're from Mexico, so muy bueno español. You is muy caliente, Jose. Don't worry, I've got the mariachi band and the piñata for my sexy Mexican. <laughs> I want to take him to one of the biggest landmarks in Mexico, which is a mushroom rock. <laughs> My efforts that I'm putting into this state, I hope he actually sees that I'm really interested. I just hope when he sees the phallic imagery, he understands that I really want that. I've seen that online. I, w I wanted to come here. Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you want to s it? <laughs> But also she has a very caring, loving side. I want to see her caring, loving insides. Well, oh, guys. That was an awful thing to say. 
That caught my my attention a lot. Like the the way that you manage your space, how you shine wherever you go. Like Joey said, it's the headlights always on. I'm glad that we do have this time to get to know each other better because, you know, I think very highly of you. It's only been two days. Just remember that. Two days. You you don't know each other. Steady the buff. Steady the buff. Uh, oh god. Uh, uh. Being here and seeing this beautiful sunset and and how be beautiful you look is a really special moment as well. Oh, two days and one night, guys. Two days and one night. So I want the same for Jose. I want him to find a nice girl for him. And Jose wants that Anglo-Saxon bread eating, milk drinking. <laughs> all right. Oh, hola. Spilled the tea. Yeah, you guys were gone for a long time. It's kind of gross. Hey, how did the day go? Go and tell your details. I'm fine with it. I'm zero jealous. I'm really not jealous at all. You sure about that? You sure about that? I thought you guys got a hotel room or something. Jerry wants him, wants Jose to be his daddy. You really can't beat tacos and tequila. Tacos, tequilas, and vintage minge. Paula and Stephanie and Jose speaking Spanish is definitely making everybody feel uncomfortable. Uh oh. Build the wall. Build the wall. Build the wall. I want to know what you're saying. And if you don't want me to know, then like go somewhere else. <laughs> you serious? Man, I'm sorry. They're alone together. What's your issue? It's just like it's not in front of everyone. It's just them two together. We two no, around. Whatever they want you to think. No, no, no. Oh God. Oh, no, it's not like that. Yeah. What's the problem? What's the problem? Don't worry, Papa Jose is gonna sort it out. Huh? The action of just shouting with without a reason or anything. It's so hot. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy. Yes. Because I don't speak Spanish. Obviously. <laughs> Thank you for watching with me. It seems like all the MILFs were well-mannered. <laughs> Hope you had a nice time. I'll catch you in the next one. Love you. Lately fill my days are with all this amazing stuff. Hottest part of the day is the way it go. Trying to keep my eyes shut. My butterflies feel more.